Hey y'all, hope everyone is doing well, is healthy, and is staying home, taking it easy. I was working on something today, and I thought it was something you guys might get a real kick out of. Uh, if you're following us on YouTube and subscribing, then you'll find the videos and the content off this 302 inline 6 that we're doing, uh, that GMC. So, 70-year-old engine redoing it, that's pretty cool actually. But uh, I had mentioned in one of the videos about the crankshaft being damaged, uh, actually the, the nose of the crank where the crankshaft pulley bolts on, uh, that it's damaged. I was trying to figure out a way to repair that. So, I've pretty much figured out a way to do that. So, I'm going to show you this. This is the hub that bolts on there. And you can see someone had cross-drilled it to try to get it to stay in place. Well, that fix didn't work too well. So, where that piece bolts, flip the camera, is right here on the nose of the crank. So, I took a few days to think about exactly how I was going to fix that. And I thought you might get a kick out of seeing this. So, let's flip the camera again. This is the crankshaft out of that inline six. And I've got it chucked up in the lathe. And we're going to turn that down. Now, each, it has to be, of course, indicated off each one of these, you know, the main journals, like here and here. So it's got to be, you know, perfectly zero and indicated in. But uh, the neatest thing that I wanted to show you about this now, I'm going to turn this lathe on at 530 RPM. All right, 530 RPM is the idle speed that this engine is designed to idle at with a maximum RPM of around 32 to 3600 stock. If you build it, you might be able to squeeze 4000 to 4500 out of it and it still hold together. The neat thing about it, remember, this is only 530 RPM. I wanted you guys to see a crank rotating at 530 what that means think about your motorcycles they're idling at a thousand rpm give or take and then you're spooling those things up to almost six thousand rpm so i'm going to show you what this crank looks like spinning at only 530. you ready All right, now what you're seeing here, I don't know if you'd be able to, if you can hear me or not, but back here is the rear, all right? So that would be cylinder number six. The rod would be connected to that, going up and down that fast, same. Rod number five, rod four, three, two, one. The ones that you see centered would be, of course, your main bearing supports, all right? So let me kick this off real quick. All right, so I hope that puts it into perspective. You have to remember at 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, 5, 6,000 RPM, how much metal is moving. And uh, this will apply to the importance of crankshaft balancing. So coming soon, remember on YouTube exclusive, we have our, our a visitor coming from Dark Horse Crankworks who's going to talk to us about specifically flywheels. And then we're going to discuss rods and Timken bearing conversions, you know, balancing, truing, plugging, welding. We're going to discuss every bit of that. So hopefully this puts it into perspective of how fast that heavy sucker is spinning around and uh, the importance of a properly balanced crankshaft. So let's take another look and then I'm signing off. Guys, I uh, hope you're having a great day. And be sure, hit us up on YouTube, subscribe. We've got hundreds of videos I put up there for the past several years. And uh, we're going to be reviewing parts. We've got all kind of great things coming. So things from items from fueling and custom dynamics, Dunlop tires. Um, we've also got, let's see, who else is coming? Um, oh, I forgot. We've got an enormously long list. Uh, we've got suspension components. We're going to be working with legends. We're going to be doing all kind of stuff. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to search for it. Just look for my name, Kevin Baxter, and it has the Pro Twin logo on it. So I'm going to give you guys one more peek. I see David Crane just popped in here. Give me a thumbs up, Dave. Here, I'm going to wave at you. There we go. Uh, Dave, Dave owns um, uh, DC Cycling Racing over in Alabama. Dave's a really good guy. He's a good machinist. Uh, does great work for folks over there. So if you're in the Alabama area, be sure to hit DC Cycle. Uh, let's take one more look, guys, and I'm signing off. Here we go. 530 RPM. Boy, she is screaming.
All right, over the next few days, we're going to get this thing machined. We're going to get this thing ready to go, get all the clearance clearances fixed and uh, dialed in, ready to start assembling that 302. So everybody, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a good one.